How to change the rear brake pads and a rotor on a 2006 Dodge Ram 1500. Here are the parts you will need for this job. In the following images are tools that will make this job much easier. Even though the floor jack may be enough, don't risk it. Use your jack stand. On the inside of the brake caliper and bracket are four bolts that need to be removed, 10 millimeter and 13 sixteenths. Start with the caliper and then move to your bracket. I prefer to use a thin piece of wire to hang my caliper from as though it's to make sure that it's not hanging from its hose. You risk breaking the hose and just making a bigger job for yourself. The oversized screwdriver is used to pry the caliper away from the rotor. Okay, now that the caliper is being secured, we'll move on to the bracket. The worn brake pads can generally just be slid out. Surprisingly, I never heard the wear indicator. That pad was worn out. Once again, I'll use the screwdriver just to help loosen up the second brake pad. Using a breaker bar to loosen up the 13 16 bolts from the bracket will make this job much easier. Now that the bolts are loose, I'll switch to a socket wrench. When removing the bolts from the bracket, leave the top bolt in before you move on to the second. You see how I'm having to hold on to the top. Lesson learned. Now it's time to pull off the old rotor. Sometimes a little persuasion is needed just to remove this. I actually spend about four minutes hitting it with the hammer just to loosen it up. So if you remember how bad that outer pad was, it really grooved up this rotor, and it's pretty hard metal. And since I'm here, I'm going to just spray some brake cleaner on it. Your new rotors will come covered in grease, so use that brake cleaner to clean it off. If you don't, why even bother with brakes? And don't forget to spray the backside or the inside of your new rotor. Now it's time to install your new rotor. Just line up the holes and slide it back on. Now it's time to install the caliper bracket. Now I don't know the actual torque specs, 
but I did finish using the breaker bar just to make sure it was nice and tight. You don't want these coming off when you break. Alright, so now I'm going to be applying some grease which is to reduce the friction noise to the non-brake pad side surfaces. Alright, now that the first pad is ready, we'll go ahead and just slide that back into its bracket. And we'll repeat that process with the next pad. And just be very careful again not to get that grease onto the braking surface. Now it's time to compress the piston and the caliper. Start with removing the cap from your brake fluid reservoir. Now I like to use this little flat piece of metal just to put over the piston. It gives it a nice, even, flush surface for applying pressure. Now using the C-clamp, crank it down till it stops. Now with the caliper seated, it's time to reinstall the caliper bolts. And again with these bolts, I really don't know the specs for the torque. This may make some mechanics cringe, but I just like to make sure it's nice and tight. Alright, well that's how I replace the pads and rotor on my truck. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, please leave a thumbs up.